Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. The PBS is now live and it's brought in the new map expansion coming to Fallout 76 at some point over the next year. Now I'm presuming it will be a summer release given the fact we already have the PDS out now but I'm not sure because they haven't actually announced the date yet. Now I have managed to jump in and actually test out some of the new events that's been added in. We can't really explore everything too much so I don't want to share too much information on the new locations as they're very kind of empty a little bit at the moment like you do have some enemies in them and stuff but some of them you can't actually go into certain areas for the fact that part of the pts hasn't been unlocked yet but for this video let's take a look at the new event called dangerous pastimes now this one is really really interesting and i can't wait to learn more about the upcoming uh, quest line and stuff that's coming in because it seems so interesting basically in this event you've got to go to a power station and you've got to somehow kind of like power it up by finding parts rebuilding it but then killing lost vault dwellers who are full of charged electricity. It's very interesting, very strange, and at the moment it is a little bit laggy, but bear in mind, it is just the PTS, so it has got a lot of fixes and stuff, hence why we have the PTS. Now, if you don't know what the PTS is, it's a public test server, which is only available on PC, not on console, and basically it's out a few months early, so we can test it and get stuff ready for release, hopefully. Now, the event itself is a lot of fun. There's a lot of enemies dotted around, and they look really cool, these kind of vault dwellers dotted around, with electricity glowing through the eyeballs and through the body and stuff and it's definitely a really very cool looking event the skyline and stuff as well looks awesome with the red kind of skyline it's kind of like a weird nuke zone vibe but not a nuke zone if you know what i mean it's it's strange but yeah overall looks really cool i do enjoy it it is a little bit challenging and um, but basically you've got to like go in there rebuild it and then you've got to kill I don't know how many because it doesn't actually tell you how much we gotta kill them until the bar fills up and then you've got to kill a like level 100 hermit crab and that's the event as a whole this should be really good though for gaining xp and just just good for like all-around fun it's one of them events where you go in and have a lot of fun with but i'm really hoping to fix a little bit of the kind of enemy spawning and stuff uh, just to make it a bit more kind of heated it is quite heated don't get me wrong but i just feel like we should go all out and go crazy with it let me know what your thoughts are from the footage though down in the comments below there's not really too much to say on it as of yet this is just really early video getting released into it as we still are learning a lot about this so keep an eye out on the channel in case i find more information which i'll share straight away with you guys for now though if you have enjoyed and enjoyed the background footage hit that like button make sure to subscribe for more fallout 76 news and content and i'll catch us in the next one bye bye